Hey, hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel where we talk about stuff. So in completely surprisingly unsurprising news, uh, if you've been watching this channel for a while, some of the earlier videos that I did on this channel had to do with the accumulation of Bitcoin and by a number of large companies who were doing so. Why did I make these videos? Because a lot of times it seems at least to me that people keep forgetting that we us are not the only ones who are accumulating cryptocurrencies. And also on the line of Bitcoin, a lot of times people, I believe, falsely assume uh, that only regular normal people and or not banks or institutions or countries wink, are not accumulating cryptocurrencies at all. I'm not exactly sure where this idea comes from, but maybe it's some part of the old ethos of the cryptocurrency space. However, if you were watching the other videos from about a year or two ago when I started this series, which I basically called the rich people are buying all the Bitcoin and no one's paying attention, another huge part of that was that um, there is a specific company who's been buying an enormous amount of Bitcoin for a very long time, and they go by the name of MicroStrategy. Why is MicroStrategy important? Well, for a number of reasons. One of the main reasons is usually that uh, every time thus far that they've ever accumulated or announced that they were accumulating Bitcoin, Bitcoin's price tends to rise a couple of weeks after some kind of a market shock and or a reminder to other people that they need to go and buy Bitcoin, not financial advice. I'm talking about the larger companies who tend to accumulate large numbers of Bitcoin behind the scenes that we simply aren't privy to and or paying attention to. So recently, the company MicroStrategy, who has been known over the last two, three or four years uh, to harbor, own, have accumulated a massive amount of Bitcoin, has recently announced that they have purchased, once again, this is one company. This is not five companies. This is not a hundred companies. This is one single company who has purchased, they said recently, 12,333 Bitcoin. Once again, that is one company at one time, 12,333 Bitcoin. And they now roughly hold around 152,333 bitcoin as always i will link the description wait the wait the articles in the description below so you can all read the articles as well just in case you want to see the actual extra information why is this interesting well because there's only going to ever be 21 million bitcoin everyone knows that however a lot of people don't know that millions of Bitcoin are also lost and gone forever for a number of thousands of reasons. People lose them, people lost their computers, people lost their passwords. You name it, it's been a very long time, especially for some of the earlier people who got into the Bitcoin space who had something on their computer. They were able to mine Bitcoin. They got 10, 15, 25, 35,000 Bitcoin and ended up losing it because they lost their password, threw their computer away. There's a bunch of very sad stories floating around out there. So the news basically is today. Uh, once again, for those of you who are definitely paying attention, uh, these are companies who have openly expressed with us that they are holding and buying huge amounts of Bitcoin. This does not even include the smaller companies who are also buying and or the larger companies uh, who have recently announced they're getting into the cryptocurrency Bitcoin space openly, such as BlackRock, Fidelity, Visa, MasterCard, uh, PayPal, you name it. Uh, those companies have yet to disclose to us that they are buying Bitcoin. But I would dare say, um, as PayPal or Visa or MasterCard or BlackRock or Fidelity or the CBOE, who's also trying to get a physical Bitcoin ETF, you as a company cannot sell Bitcoin to people unless you already have the Bitcoin yourself. There's another website that I'm going to link here. It's called uh, buybitcoinworld.com, not affiliated. They have a list of the public companies who have had to file with the US SEC and therefore declare the amount of Bitcoin that they also have. So yeah, um, not the longest video in the entire world. It's more of a, I hope that you're all still paying attention because it keeps happening all the time. We do not have an exact accurate number for how many Bitcoin are now being held by corporations. This is a rough sketch, if you will, from the numbers that have been given to us. These companies were either forced to do so through SEC filings and or they came out at some point for a huge amount of publicity, which caused their stock to rise as well, in that they own millions or billions of dollars worth of Bitcoin. There are tons of other companies who we've heard about over the years and also individuals. The guy who runs MicroStrategy, his name is Michael Saylor, 
I'm going to assume that's it. He also owns, I believe, five or six figures of Bitcoin. That That is not to say like $10,000. Like, I mean, like 10,000 plus Bitcoin he also owns as well. This is what he has publicly stated. So, yeah. Um, we continue to be in a world where Bitcoin continues to gain more mainstream adoption. And I want to always, always make sure that all of you are uh, kept in the light. That's not you know, what, I'm, what I'm trying to say. I want to make sure that you know exactly what's going on within this space uh, because a lot of crazy things are happening. The fact that we have heard that the largest company on the planet is officially into Bitcoin, openly into Bitcoin, and still millions and billions of people on the planet are not paying attention to it, I think is very telltale for how I feel that the world is going to be shaping sometime in the future. I am a huge believer that cryptocurrencies are not only going to uh, skyrocket, but the holders of crypto are going to be the main benefactors in a world where Bitcoin ends up eventually hitting $1 million per coin. I do hope that you have all enjoyed. I do hope you all are having a great day, great morning, great afternoon, great evening, wherever you are, wherever you might be. I do hope it's absolutely fantastic. Thank you all once again for watching, listening, liking, commenting, and or supporting, and I will most certainly be talking to you all soon. See you.